Yo, what is up guys? Today we're talking about Destiny 2 now specifically we're gonna be looking at the new grenade launcher that came in Season of the Arrivals, which is Wither Horde. It's really good. I really love it. It's one of my favorite weapons right now. But before we talk about that, I'm gonna be talking about how to get the weapon, how to get the catalyst, and then I'm gonna be showing you some things here and there about the weapon that you might not know. So, how to get the weapon. The weapon is very easy to get. Essentially, if you are a season pass holder, you'll get it at level one. If not, you'll get it at level 35 if I remember correctly. To get the catalyst you will need to go to banshee and he will give you a quest which basically says get 50 vault keys which is pretty simple it's just get kills with a kinetic or special grenade launcher and rapid kills increases the chance of getting vault keys so the best combination would probably be either mountaintop or malicious birthright and then for the kinetic it would probably be fighting lion that's going to be the best options for you because you can essentially use both grenade launchers at once and then after that it'll be the last quest step that's really it after the 50 vault keys it's the last one which is basically 200 multi kills with grenade launchers 100 pvp kills and then 350 lucra from gambit wins crucible wins and at night falls this one's going to be the meatiest part of the grind I fortunately already have the catalyst, so for me, it wasn't that big of a deal. The way I ended up getting was it was last week, uh, Scorch was up. And if you guys don't know what Scorch is, it's basically like, I'll have it up in the screen right now, but you have a, you have a like, this like rocket launcher thing that the Fallen take have a lot. And that's what I was using for the most part. And I, I did that until 300, so that was really easy you could wait for other easy activities as well you can wait for scorch to come back if it does uh, i know iron banner is coming back next week so if you guys are going to play that for the armor for the weapons or for whatever reason it should count towards that as well so after you complete this that's pretty much it you get the catalyst but obviously you have to complete the catalyst which means that you have to get 200 kills with it. Obviously, the easiest method would be to go to the Whisper mission. If you're watching this after, but you still have the Catalyst for some reason, then I think the best one would be the the Last Wish. The Last Wish part. Yeah, that one would probably be the best one because that one's still going to be here. I don't know about the uh, about with the Whisper mission. I don't know if it's going to stay. Hopefully it does because it's a really good, great farming spot. But if it doesn't, then the last wish is probably going to be the best choice. If not, then you can just do Lost Sectors over and over. So, now that we have the Catalyst, let's look at the perks real quick. I'm going to do this really fast. So, Countermass greatly controls recoil, increases stability and handling speed. Black Powder slightly increases blast radius, decreases stability. Break the Bank, Blighted Targets take damage over time and blight the nearby area on death. Composite stock slightly increases stability, slightly increases handling speed. And then the intrinsic trait is Primeval's Torment. Projectiles fired by this weapon blight the targets or nearby area on impact. And then the Catalyst, which is called Silent Alarm, I think, increases handling. Bolt holstering this weapon automatically reloads it after a short period of time, which is auto loading holster. And obviously, look at this blast radius, it's abysmal. You're definitely not going to want to use this for the blast radius. You're going to want to use this for the for the AOE, which I will show you right now. So I love this weapon. This is one of my favorite weapons in PvP and in PvE. So real real quick, here's a few things that you might not know. Let's do it on Nona. So real quick, 648, that's the base damage of it. But if you do it again when they're blighted, it's 9,712. 9, so I don't know the percentage of that, but it's fucking high. And if you do it one more time after, like before they die, it goes up to like 12,000 something. So the damage does scale a bit, but what's really cool is essentially you could do this, which obviously this doesn't take like a genius to figure out, but it's just, this is probably why it would be pretty, pretty good in PVP because you're always shooting this. You're always shooting this some way, shape, or form. You're always... You're always shooting it, so... I would do that. And then shoot it at him. 9,000 plus the... It's just so accumulative. That's why I like it a lot. It's not great for boss DPS. I'm not going to lie to you guys. But overall, I really like the weapon for it. 
Uh, let's see how fast it takes. So, there it is. So, essentially, for PvP or PvE, you could be shooting and then take your weapon out. And then I already have it. Boom. Like that. It's There's a lot of things you can do with auto loading. Also, on a seagull grenade launcher. It's probably one of the mo most funny th funnest things in, in the world to, for PvP. Uh, that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to show you for the menagerie because... Yeah, it's I, it's really hard to explain. Like on impact, this does. I'd rather just show you. I will say that like when you do the impact on guardians, it actually does kill them pretty fast unless they have some sort of healing. Oh my god, really? So obviously, once they die, when they're blighted, a blight comes out. It's really cool. It's like one of the coolest things in the game. Not gonna lie. Because you could just essentially do this. Just keep shooting your blights. And... I'm surprised he didn't die. And then you could just have the area of... Like, in PvE, it's great. Let me show you some PvP footage. So in PvP... So in PvP, this weapon slaps. I wouldn't say it's for everyone. It's more for the methodical person. The one that likes to approach every situation a little bit more differently. I like to use it because I like to do some dumb shit. So for me... It was more of a reactionary weapon. So like, let's say I would go into a situation where there was like a few guardians and they weren't like shooting at me. So I would shoot at one of them, start running away, shoot the floor and then start running away again and then just get ready for them to come out. And once they start coming out, they start getting blighted, they start freaking out. And then that's where I just kill them all. And that's a lot of fun. If you're using like an SMG or an assault rifle, you can just mow them down. It's... This weapon is just a lot of fun when it comes to stuff like that. I think a lot of people are sleeping on this weapon because first and foremost, it's not something like super powerful. You do have to think about it. You do have to think about like how to use it and what to use it on. Overall, I think the weapon's uh, like amazing. I really I really think it's really cool. I do wish the catalyst did a little bit more than just give it an auto loading holster. Not saying auto loading holster is bad by any means. It's actually really good for a single shot grenade launcher. It's just that like I would have liked it I would like to see a little bit more something, but again, auto loading holster is still amazing. I, I guess I was just like, ah, just the extra handling, but I guess the extra handling does make it, make it so that you can swap out faster. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below about the weapon. I personally love it. It's one of my favorite weapons right now in the game. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, things are in the description below. Yeah, that's pretty much the video. Yeah, there's nothing more for me to explain. I can explain how it works in PvE. In PvE, it's great. I mean, it's more of a ad clear than anything else. You can funnel enemies into one area and then just kill them with the blight. You can, obviously, from what I showed you with the ogre, you can do boss damage. It'll, it won't be the best, but I mean, it's, it's still good in my opinion. It's just not, not something you would want to switch out. I would much rather use anarchy than this. Mostly because Anarchy, I can just shoot it and forget about it for a couple of seconds. This one can be the same thing, but you have to shoot the, shoot the boss and then shoot the floor below it and then shoot the boss one more time to get that extra damage. For Anarchy, I just have to shoot it, what, like three times and then it just goes on the floor. With this one, I have to shoot, reload, shoot, reload, shoot, reload, and it just feels like I have to constantly shoot it to keep that DPS up, which in like reality is like just get something else that's more stronger. So in PvE... Uh, add clear for sure, but that's pretty much it. Boss damage is not bad. It's just me personally, there's a lot of better options out there. PvP, I think this is where this weapon shines the most, is because you can use it in defensive ways. You can use it ag aggressively as well. It's such a great weapon to have as the main attraction, and then have something else like a secondary to like really finish enemies off. I feel like that's the best way to use this. Obviously, you can shoot the enemies, like, like blight them, but it's a little harder in PvP. In PvE, it's, it's it's really easy, but in PvP, I don't know what it is. It's just hard as dicks, man. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't know, like, uh, I, I can tell you, like, the dam, like, the blast damage, the blast radius damage is does not that great. You guys see right now, and it's not even a quarter. It's it's pretty wild because it's a grenade launcher, obviously. But yeah, see, like 
my grenade or my reload takes so long that like I couldn't even kill myself. Actually, I could, I could do that. But yeah, like as you guys can see, you would have to be real, like almost no health, a sliver of health to kill yourself. So, like I said, you could slide in, drop it on yourself. Your health will get low, but I think it's still still wor well worth it. You could jump, shoot it. It's you can do a lot of things. So, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank thank you so much for watching up to this point. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, things are in the description below. Thank you everyone for the constant support. I really do appreciate it. And other than that, I will see you guys later.